Hi, this is Ivan Kovachev from Audio Grocery. In the next video, I'm going to introduce the new Articulation Pro version 6.3. This memorial update elevates our Articulation Software Toolkit to a very high level, which allows you to completely control the articulations of giant instruments such as VSL Synchron Syncs, for example. Now, AG Editor comes with up to 11 articulation output assignments sorted into two user interface pages. The second output page offers three key switch and three control change additional assignments specially designed for instruments which require enhanced articulation control. We duplicated the copy map next key switch behavior in the second output page so you can use the correspondent buttons underneath to create a new map with duplicated assignments with increased key switch number. Let's enable the copy KS white keys checkbox and create another map with duplicated assignments where the fourth key switch will be increased by a whole tone. Note, when you press the C key on your computer keyboard, then all map assignments are cleared without the map name. This is useful, but sometimes you may need to clear a specific assignment, for example. You can do that very quickly just by holding down the Option computer key and click the map assignment you want to clear. The new key commands are well described in the updated documentation. Let's have a look at the Synchron Strings articulation control structure. Look, the articulation types are mapped to two key switches which belong to different octave numbers and the dimension columns are mapped to a few control change numbers which switch the dimension rows when you tweak the control faders. Let's have a look at this long Mercato map. Note, the key switch 1 and key switch 2 are set to the correspondent note numbers while the control assignments are mapped to the related dimension control numbers and values. By the way, it took no more than 10 minutes to me to create this massive synchron preset thanks to the AG Editor batch editing functions. Let's set a custom articulation MIDI remote first. Note, all remote assignments are set automatically, which is a big advantage. Now I'll save the maps preset as a logic articulation set. I plan to use the AG Advanced Articulation Scripter plugin, so I'll tick the third checkbox below and store only the articulation names and the MIDI remote assignments. Let's load that articulation set and check it out. Fine, all is stored as expected. Look, the editor is set to multi-instrument mode, which allows me to create an additional articulation set for the velocity range control. The multi-instrument setting will behave as a multi-sets mode in this case. After the copy to clipboard and the pasting procedure, the AG scripter will offer two articulation sets, one for the main articulations and another for the velocity range control. In this example, I'll set the velocity range as a primary region automation lane because I plan to use node IDs for the main articulation switching. You can create a second automation lane for the main articulation switching at any time if you want to edit the articulations via automation text points in the main window. It's time to present to you the brand new extended iPad articulation remote control. The Synchron Strings map numbers are the same for the violins, violas, cellos, etc. So, I will change the preset name to Synchron Strings because I plan to use a single iPad page to control all string types. Oh, is fine now, so I will click the iPad icon to teleport the first articulation set to the iPad. As you see, the teleport function 
prints all articulation names and the preset name automatically and covers the articulation buttons according to the group covers. Let's celebrate the velocity range articulation set. Cool, the second set will be very useful to control the synchron velocity ranges on the fly. Look, the button sets are powered by a separate MIDI channel assignment which allows you to use two MIDI remotes, the Logic Articulation MIDI remote and the AG Script remote simultaneously. Let's have a look at the Limer starting templates. There are two basic templates and a hybrid one which is a combination of the basic templates. The control change mixer is closed by default, so you must open it by pressing the mixer icon here. The articulation button output assignment is set to program change by default. You can switch it to any control change number if you want to remote the Spitfire UACC directly, for example. In other words, you can use the AG limer with any digital audio workstation. You can set a custom zoom of the mixer faders per each limer page interface. I'm using the combo template which shows the extended page at the moment. The extended pages are indicated with a small EXT symbol in the presets menu. Let's open the Dimension Brass preset. The preset is teleported to a basic page interface so all buttons are arranged by groups and colors automatically. Let's come back to the Synchron Extended preset and have a look at this MIDI remote scheme. The main buttons are set to MIDI channel 1 which matches the Logic Articulation MIDI remote channel. The extra buttons will remote the velocity range via channel 2 which matches the Script and Remote parameter channel. Here we go! Look, the note events are recorded with the correspondent articulation ID and the velocity ranges are printed as text points. Let's switch the velocity dynamic to soft and try it. As you see, the editing procedure is very easy. You can also switch to the main articulation scripter parameter in the piano row and create more articulation switching alternatives by using text control points. This is a large articulation set, so I recommend you to hold down the control computer key to be able to set the text points precisely. Thanks for watching this video.